Hey, it's all it takes, you know. True, true, true. Now, true. you know, Kazuya has a, you know, like, back, back, forward, diagonal down, like, yeah. crazy stuff. So. Yeah, you never okay. know, but anyway, we're getting into Debo versus Dragneel. Dragneel playing the Pyramither. We saw so much at Summit uh, versus yeah. Debo. And I think, I think everyone's pretty much uh, put Mithra and Pyra on the map now. Like, if people didn't, weren't aware, and people everyone's on the map now, like, they, they know, they know. Yeah, and I think it, it's just a matter of, like, Mithra kind of invalidates some characters because of how fast she is. And But the thing about Pyra is Pyra can't really find, like, you can't fish for kills. If your opponent is somewhat decent, they can't just fish for kills. So it's going to be on Dragneel to win neutral very consistently with Mithra, get into the ledge trap situation, and go for kills with Pyra. Yeah. And also understand it's time to switch back to Mithra to build more percent. Yeah. I think it's a little bit of, like a misnomer that Pyra can't win neutral because, like, you know, you, you have Blazing End. Like, that is just the win neutral button. You get hit by it, the prominence revolt, trying to get the trying to get the hit there for the kill. That's that is a really strong kill option. Probably not, not gonna kill at 69, but hey, it is a good strong kill. And Photon Edge, super strong option. I I like the way it's it's so hard to punish. Yep. And especially for Ness, especially yep. for Ness. Yep. Unless he has that uh PK fire like just ready out and out there, like he's probably not gonna be able to punish it. Okay, going for a four there. They're, okay, four tilt on the shield, getting hit with a nair there. See, it's so scary here to be off the ledge with Pyra. That's having it. the worst recovery, but exactly as Dragneel was saying, you need to find a ledge trap, you need to find your reversal opportunity, get a kill there. Now we see more Mithra. We're going to see percent build up. We're going to see more neutral wins for uh, Dragneel. Yeah, and that's that's where Pyra really excels. Like, you're at 100% and, like, making it so, like, any stray hit is going to kill. You just put so much. That's a snipe. Wow, I love that ray Ooh, of punishment. I Uses the Chroma that. Dust. Oh, Just rinse and repeat. That's three. He's dead. <laughs> Who said Mithra can't kill? I don't ever want. No, I'm just kidding. That that was great. The great snipes using yeah. using the uppy projectile to get a kill there. It's like yo, I, I think I think uh I think I think Dragno plays a little bit of Valorant, you know? Yeah, yeah. He's got that. They got the snipes on deck, dude. Insane snipe from uh, Dragno here, but getting triple up there, trying to get a uh, frame trap there with that neutral B. But uh, now we have you know. Debo, it's it's really rough to have to deal with such a fast character like Mithra, especially with a player like Dragon who's very disciplined in neutral, but he's able to find these conversions gonna be very good for him. Okay, so so the way that Dragon's been using Photon on edge is that he's been going very high with it. Mm -hmm. And so Debo maybe see again, he's been going extremely high with it and not letting um, Debo just punish him on the ledge because I think Dragneel's aware that if he goes to ledge, he's just gonna die because of the yo-yo. Yep. So I really like that adaptation from Dragneel to recognize, like, I'm never going to put myself in this situation because of what I know about Ness as a character. And so I'm going to do it this way. But that Nair, not going to take, yeah, it. Gonna take it. But one more hit for Pyra will do it. And he has to go through two stocks of Pyra, <laughs> not avoiding no hit. Yeah, that was that's a little bit of a, a pivot up tilt. The hitbox comes from behind, so a lot of players will, will find the pivot. You see, like, Mario players doing it with up smash and very, very good usage of that technique from Dragneel. And as you were saying with the high photon edge, the, the thing about that move is it's very tricky to see where it's going to end and where to appropriately punish because you want to hit where it ends. And when you do it high like that, you don't fully remember, like, where did she initiate it? Where do I align myself to punish, right? And it's just another mix-up that makes it so much harder to punish that move. Yeah. I really like that um, pickup from Dragon. Yeah, so super strong adaptation is like, you know, this is a character matchup. He's like, he's got a, a, an answer prepped already. Yep. He was like, you know, it's like, there's no like, oh, he punished it. Okay, so I'll adjust. It's already, uh, I'm adjust. I've already adjusted. Borders into the corner. I like um, Dragneel just rolling out of the pressure, and now he has an open of 17%. And uh, yeah, he can't do lag and his shield. He's going to be able to grab it. And here's an offstage situation with Dragneel. Oh, Ooh. wow. PK Paul's to cover like the it. ledge I there. Like oh, but he two-framed him again. He have a oh, the forward smash barely not connecting. The PK fire one more time, gets him off the ledge. He has to go through. But something I've been noticing is that Dragon has been covering a lot of, like, he's just been baiting De uh, Debo to go out a little bit higher, right? Mm -hmm. Like, baiting him in to do a little bit of damage and bait the option, and then comes in and then punish it with a grab. But again, Blazing, and there it gets oh, the, what with a foot the still. Oh, oh, he tried to lead the roll in. Yep, the classic, but getting punished with a backer, not going to be able to kill yet. Switch to Mithra, use that better recovery to get off with that projectile, but Oh, yeah. the jump, it didn't die? Oh, he's not dead? Oh, but that will. Now, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now he's dead. <laughs> I, I just thought it was over for him, but but um, Debo with a good pickup on that landing option. Oh, I like that immediate Pyra switch, but getting punished for it just a little bit now. And Promise yeah. Revolt at that lane. Nice DI. Very good DI. So something I've been I, I noticed that like uh, Dragon has been doing is that with, especially with Pyra, he, he hasn't been he hasn't established that he's willing to go for the drop zone fair, which is something that a lot of Pyra Mythos really like to do. 
And it's because it's such a strong option at the ledge, and it's like really strong. But hey, that fair ledge is going to steal the stock anyway. Sometimes you fight fire with fire, and that uh, sword's going to be able to beat the PK fire, getting the kill there. And now you have a platform situation, but very good drop down forward air from the platform, getting a conversion into a grab. Up, you're going to be able to scoop him a little bit there. Gets a narrow conversion. This and there started with the fairs off the stage. Forward smash trying to convince him and get him off the stage a little bit more by catching his jump. Oh, and forward air again, turning him off the stage. And back to Pyra here. He's going to have the ledge trap opportunity. Just dashing in and shielding. Catching the drift away with a forward air. Not going to be able to kill yet, though. Oh, he went for the down yeah, air attempt there. Yeah, try to go for it. Yeah, try to go for the down air. That down air is so big, but nice punish. With very, the very, smash. very good punish. With the up smash on the shield, yep. taking that stop. Yeah, I like the awareness there to just immediately punish that PK fire on shield with that up smash. And now you have Dragneel with a stock up, and Mithra is going to be difficult. But oh, yeah. he didn't hold shield long enough. I think he was just waiting for something to happen. And Waited a little bit too oh, long, they're getting punished. Up throw, interesting choice. I've never seen a uh, Mithra or Pyro ever use up throw. It's always the down throw because you get a little bit more combo and the forwarder if you want the stage positioning. So I think that might have been an innocent put coming out from Dragneel. Yeah, that, there's real no advantage to that, but the 599 dash bailing him out of that. <laughs> that's what I'm calling it. It's forever. Hey, man. She got the foresight on deck. She knows. She knows. Ooh, oh, reads the tech roll in. Oh. Drove reads the air dash in. Oh, oh, yeah, oh SDI up out of the PK fire. 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 <laughs> Covers the ledge. Yep. And the can't, he can't contest yeah, that because okay. he threw out the sword earlier. That's going to be one to one. Debo pushing this into a game three situation for Dragneel. Uh, you see there he was dealing with Mr. Sweet a little bit, uh, kind of throwing out his aerials a little bit better to kind of um, proactively play around where he's going to be able to uh, like dash in, and he's been catching him with those forward airs and just punishing Dragneel for overextending with like platform sharks or anything of that matter. And, you know, both of these players having adaptation going into game number three is going to be, I think, a very close game. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, I definitely, I, I couldn't believe, I thought it was crazy, was the fact that Debo got over the blazing end yep. after getting, after trying to get it covered by uh, Dragneel there. Mm -hmm. I was just like, he, he got over that, and then perfect punish, obviously, because Pyra can't do anything at that point, because yep. she doesn't have her swords. All right, well, game number three here, no character changes. I know Dragneel has a couple more characters, but opting to stay with the Pyra Mithra into this game number three. Back to Stadium 2, of course. All right, back again. Tries to get the forward tilt, but Ray Punishment. No punish, gets the up tilt. A little bit combo starter here. 31% right off the bat here, going into game number three. Utilizing that double jump, Dragneel's not able to get a punish off of it. Side B into the forward air, going for the PSI Magnet extension. So. Something that uh, Debo's been doing that's been extremely risky but working out for him is the super close range PK fire. He's been going for that Ooh. so much, but Ooh. that's here! I knew it. I knew exactly what he was going for there. That was an extremely, extremely good pickup. He just waited for that air dodge and he switched to Pyra, and that's exactly how you find your kills early with Pyra. Yeah, but that's not that's not what Debo wants. Yeah, that's a very unfortunate air dodge. Yeah, perfect punish, but Debo's just like, he's kicking himself for that. Yeah. He's knows like, oh, I can't lose a stock at 60, especially to these characters. Win neutral button. Win neutral. It's not, I don't know about that, but. Hey, man, it stalls oh. the game. Look, see? <laughs> it stalls the game. Look. <laughs> oh, oh, the four tilt not connected. If that the four tilt, yeah, that would have killed. Destroyed. Especially off the stage like that, he would have been dead. He's fighting fire with fire, and it's working out here. Yeah. Racking on so much percent in this uh, ledge trap. Oh, he got that weird, like, slide off thing where he didn't have to tech, but he did get off the platform here. But again, any straight hit. Nice. Oh, he goes through a nice shield. He re okay, he recognized that Dragneel has been contesting him so much in the neutral after the PK fire. So now he adapts and says, all right, I'm going to run up shield and then I'm going to punish when he does whatever option he does. The problem yeah, is the ball, you're not, you're really not doing that. Yeah. He grabbed the wrong way trying to punish that down air landing. And now you have Dragneel with a stock up here and the Mithra coming out again to win some neutral. Yeah, going a little, a little bit more against the Nair. That Nair is so such a strong tool because it covers so much space in the air, right? It's a strong tool, it's so fast, and it does a strong multi-hit, and it just, it creates so much space. It's kind of reminiscent of Palu Nair, but the use is similar in a way that you take it to take the space, but you don't use it as like a necessary like a combo tool into itself. Mm -hmm. Order, sending him away. 599 dash, getting him out of that forwarder attempt dash nice. attack onto the platform. I can't. I'm, I'm calling it no. that. No! No one's stopping me. I'll try. <laughs> You'll try. <laughs> foresight. foresight coming out once again. Gets the punish off of it. Plus switches back to Pyra. That's tries scary. to get Yeah, tries to get to the PK Thunder. Get him off the ledge here. I see. Yep. <laughs> okay, really? <laughs> How many times do I have to yeah, make my yeah, point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, true. Neutral stops. You're right. It's a neutral tool. And so the thing is, right, he's using this as like a way to 
stop the neutral and it's controlling the space, right? He's like, Debo's like, I can't contest over because I don't want to over aggress. And, and Dragnos is like, well, okay, I'm just going to chill over here. I'm, I have the lead. I can chill. But this switch I can get behind from Dragnos, switching to Mithra, just wanting one more hit to get into that percent that's going to be able to take it. And now you have Dragnos landing. Oh my god, okay. he called it out. That was ridiculous. I don't, Debo getting caught like swinging and then getting hit with an uppy and that was going to be able to take yeah. it. And you have Debo. Or sorry, Dragnil taking this at 2-1 with that Pyramithra. Insane stuff. Yeah, super.